Good morning. How are we this morning? So, uh, it's Saturday and I have to, unfortunately, go to work, which is, again, kind of unfortunate. Um, I uh, have started down uh, this path to uh, better video quality, or at least what I'm hoping will be better video quality, and uh, essentially... Um, what it, it, it what it is well no it will be better video quality so I was shooting uh, my vlog on uh, a Canon T3i and even though I know I'm uploading it to YouTube in 4k that's just so that I get 4k gets uh, better color and this is kind of the beginning to a road to just better video not necessarily better video as in more resolution but better video in terms of uh, higher fidelity color because it's not so much resolution it's color uh, spatial resolution but color resolution that I'm, I'm after I want more color resolution so part of that is that my old T3i it's been a workhorse it's been great I love the manual control it definitely does have some shortcomings when it comes to shooting video uh, I recently acquired a Blackmagic Design video assist uh, one of the main complaints that I had about using my uh, Canon HFM 500 camcorder was that uh, it it um, I, I had really I did not so much bad exposure control. I had no easy way to judge exposure because it didn't have things like waveform or even a histogram. The video assist doesn't have waveforms, which I'm a little disappointed about, but it does have a histogram, so I do know where, at least where my exposure is. So uh, I've switched back to uh, my HFM 500 for uh, the camera. Resolution-wise, it's great. It's Canon's HD CMOS Pro sensor, so, which is a native, uh, it's a third inch sensor with a native 1920 by 1080. Um, you know, in terms of resolution, it's actually quite good. But, uh, uh, and, and the dynamic range is better than most other camcorders with a small sensor, but not fantastic, as you can see. I mean, a lot of this stuff is just blown out. Um, I am expecting here in the next week or so a different camera to show up, and it will be uh, quite a bit better. It's also a camcorder. Natively, internally, it's a one-inch sensor instead of a third-inch sensor. Uh, and the pixel sizes are, are even bigger. The Canon says it's 12 stops of dynamic range. We'll see whether or not it really is. But um, at any rate, uh, that's. I just thought I'd, you know, if you notice uh, anything in terms of uh, how the picture looks dynamic range wise, that's what it is. Unfortunately, I am recording in Rec. 709 on this uh, HFM 500 camcorder. There's not a lot I can do about that. Um, once I get the new camera, I'll be able to record and log, I hope, but uh, only time will tell. So it'll be, you know, there'll probably be a little bit of a shakedown period where things look wonky, but uh, at any rate, um, there's no color grading using the HFM 500. That's the good thing, is I can literally just do my edit and be done. I don't have to change the colors. Assuming I got my exposure right and my white balance right, I don't have to do anything else. So anyway, that's uh, where it's at. Got to go into work. All right, I need to go check my mail and I need a break. So uh, gonna go check my mail and take a quickie break and then uh, get back to work. Awesome, I got from uh, Barn Doors my ND filters, nice. Uh, they're filter gels, so I can start construction on my um, on my uh, exposure meter. Not really meter, exposure evaluation tool to see how much dynamic range uh, particular things have. So uh, this will be this will be quite good. Um, I'm curious just to see, you know, what. Uh, what kind of dynamic range my various cameras have and it'll allow me to also measure uh, the dynamic range of some of my newer cameras so should be pretty cool. Alright, 
taking another quickie break. I am so hungry. I have got to get something to eat. It's about four o'clock. I still got a couple of hours to go. So uh, I'm going to probably either run over to a 7-Eleven or Jack in the Box and just get uh, some calories to tide me over until I get home. Yay. Done for the day. Heading home. Sounds like dinner's already ready. I just got to get home. All right. That'll do it for today. See all of you tomorrow. This will be an interesting experience uh, shooting with the HFM 500 again and uh, using the uh, video assist to uh, do the recording in ProRes. So uh, we'll see how it goes.